Hey everyone, so first off, let me just point out the obvious that yes, I did get bangs. Um, and second of all, why only one eye is done. That is because Windows, Windows Movie Maker has not been working lately. It's been having a lot of problems for the past couple months or so. So, um, yeah, I haven't been able to edit videos. And I have like three videos that I've recorded but haven't been able to upload, including a Christmas haul a Joan Jett slash Kristen Stewart makeup tutorial and a ma updated makeup storage and collection video. So I want to upload all those, but I don't know when they're going to be up. So I'm going to try to record this video very quickly. That's why only one eye is done. So I already have at least one side done and I can go over to the other side. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Hopefully this won't take too long because normally I can edit the video down so that way you don't have to watch me, you know, fix everything up and make it look all clean. But I thought if I only do one eye, hopefully it won't be. Sorry, I have to look at my mirror. Hopefully it won't be too long of a tutorial. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I did was I, I primed my eyes. So put your foundation on, your concealer, your powder, that whole deal. And then I already primed my eye. But then after that, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Cottage Cheese as a base. Oh, sorry. You just apply that all over your lid. And then just blend up a bit. Oh, and make sure that you've applied the primer on your lower lash line too, because we're going to be putting some shadows down there. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to my Nordstrom Deluxe Beauty Palette Kit, and how did I not say this? This is a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I mean, you probably knew that by the title, but yeah, it's a New Year's makeup tutorial. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going to my Nordstrom Deluxe Beauty Palette, and the first color I'm taking is this matte light gray. I'm just taking that on an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Zoom in. So this kind of has some light blue undertones to it, which I think is really pretty. Okay, and then after you've done that, I'm going to be taking this darker gray right here. It's still matte. And then I'm going to be taking that on a crease brush. And I'm going to place that in my crease, obviously. Just really lightly. Okay, so then after I've done that, I'm going to take this dark matte gray, and on that same brush, I'm just going to tap a little bit on, and place it in my outer corner and in my outer crease. And then I just wiped the color off and I'm just going to lightly blend that last color that I put in. Just blend it all in. Okay, it looks about even. And then I'm going to take this really sparkly gray here. Oh, it's not showing up very well. But basically, it is really sparkly. It has just a ton of sparkles and glitter in it. It looks really pretty. And on that eyeshadow brush that I used last time, I'm just going to pat a little bit of that onto my lid. Just on where that light silver color was. Just really get that on there. To give it some glitter and color. Or, I mean, it already has color, but I mean, you know, just some 
a little bit more. Okay. And then going back to that matte gray that we used before in our outer crease, I'm taking a little bit of that on just a flat concealer brush, but I'm going to place it on my lower lash line. I'm doing good for time, guys. <laughs> Okay, and then, uh, oh, I was like, and I knew it had another eyeshadow, but I couldn't remember which one it was, but I just remembered. <laughs> I'm going to be taking this really frosty white right here, and I'm going to place that under my brow as a highlight. Okay, and then that is all for eyeshadows. So now I'm gonna be taking a white eyeliner and just applying that on my waterline. Just to make my eyes look a bit bigger and kind of give it a doll-like effect. And then I'm taking a black gel eyeliner and just on an angled eyeliner brush, I'm just gonna line my upper lash line. Okay, so this is always gets really tricky with my mirror and my camera and everything. So let's see how I do with this. Okay, and then after that, just apply a volumizing mascara, and for New Year's, you could definitely apply false lashes, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to, but yeah, just apply a lot of mascara. Sorry, I didn't have to do the little lower lashes. I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> okay. And then... Okay, so um, when I was doing the one eye, and I was going to do one half of my face, and obviously this half, but I accidentally did this half of my face for the cheeks and it's very faint so you can't really see it. So that's why I'm going over to this side now. But I'm taking just this bronzer by Essence and then this cheek brush and just tapping my brush in and then running that to contour my cheekbones. And then just blending it all out so there's no harsh line. I should even zoom out a bit now. Apply a little bit more on this side. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. And then last but not least for lips, I am taking some Raspberry Ice Lip Gloss from Mary Kay. And just applying this all over my lips. Oh, just, and this is what it looks like.
But yeah. So um, I'm definitely going to try to get the Windows Movie Maker thing working as soon as possible. Uh, and I'm going to try to get my bangs down, but we'll see how that all works. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to try to get the Windows Movie Maker working. Oh, whoa. As soon as possible. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get it working, though. So, I mean, we'll see. But, um, yeah. My friend suggested to get iMovie, and I was like, oh, okay, that sounds cool. Um, let's, I'll go find out. And then I, I should, because it's, you know, iMovie, I should have known it's from Apple, and I don't have a MacBook, which is what it's for, so I can't get it. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great new year, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.